Mexican authorities say they will reveal new details today about the plane crash that killed Jenny Rivera, the Mexican-American singing star, and six other people. As Bill Whitaker reports, there are already serious questions about the plane and the man at the controls. Remains of the deceased reportedly were removed for analysis Monday. Investigators scoured the crash site for pieces of the plane, but they will be looking at more than the wreckage, according to former NTSB chairman Mark Rosenker. What did these pilots do over the last 72 hours? We're also going to be looking at their, their schedules. Were they fatigued? Already, the reported age of the pilot, 78, and his temporary license have come under scrutiny. FAA records show the registered owner of the Learjet 25, built in 1969, is Starwood Management LLC of Las Vegas, and that the plane's history includes one accident in 2005 when the NTSB says the plane suffered substantial damage. Certainly I'd be looking at the condition of the aircraft. We'd be looking at all the maintenance records. Just before the plane took off at 3.30 a.m. Sunday, Jenny Rivera and her entourage took this picture. Taking off from Monterey, Mexico, their plane was headed for Toluca, Mexico, about an hour away. But less than 10 minutes into the flight, the plane was reported missing. 43-year-old Jenny Rivera was known as La Gran Señora, the Gran Dame. Her grieving fans have turned a plaza south of Los Angeles into a shrine. And her family, who faced the cameras Monday evening, said they hold out a faint, almost desperate hope that she might still be alive. In our eyes, we still have faith that my sister will be okay. We have no confirmation of, of her body being recovered. In a kidnapping, they say at least they might get her back. For CBS This Morning, Bill Whitaker, Los Angeles. Funeral arrangements for Jenny Rivera are still undetermined. Her family members are now on their way to Mexico.